My mother was also born in 1915. And she was born in Ostrov Mazovetsk, which is, I guess you could call it a big town or a small little city. And it was in sort of the same vicinity as my father's town. It was between Warsaw and Bialystok. And the reason I was in Poland is my husband went to Poland in the 80s uh, trying to do business. And I was with him and I said, um, I got to go see my parents' towns. They never wanted to go back, but I really have to go. And so I got a taxi. He was busy and I got a taxi and I got a taxi driver who could not speak really English. And he spoke a little German. I studied German for one year in school. So I managed with my little German and my Yiddish to tell him where I wanted to go. And I had it, my, my mother and father had written down the names of their towns for me in Polish. So I showed him and he, yes, I know, I know where, I know. And he took me. So first we went to my mother's town. And it was, um, it's funny because my mother had a postcard from her town hall. And she gave me the postcard and said, see if the town hall is still there. And as we entered the town, I went, oh my God, there it is. There's the town hall. And I showed it to the taxi. Oh yeah, that, yeah, yeah. I mean, and we found where she lived, the address. But there was no house there anymore. There were little garages on her property. And Next to her property was a more a modern, small apartment building. Across the street from her, now this was a country road, across the street from her were still 200-year-old houses from 200 years ago. And when I told her, she said, well, yes, because in those houses, there were no Jews living. There were Poles living. And we lived in a very mixed neighborhood. So wherever you see the new buildings, that's where the Jews lived, because there were no more Jews' houses. Hmm. And I, there were a whole bunch of Polish men walking this rural street, staring at me. You know, when we were taking the taxi drive, the ride, I noticed it was really like 200 years ago. There were still horses and farmers riding horses and the fat Polish ladies wearing the babushkas. And it was like a scene from Fiddler on the Roof. And this was in 1980s. Wow. I think it's probably changed by now. And these men are all looking at me. And they went over to the taxi driver and they said, who is that? And he. Uh, told them, obviously, this is an American woman whose mother lived right here. And then I said to them, uh, to him, where's the Jewish cemetery? Because my mother told me my relatives are buried in a Jewish cemetery. You know, the ones who died before the war. There's no Jew. And they looked at me. Was, I have to tell you, and it was not my imagination. They did not like me there. There is no Jid cemetery. No, no, there's no, no. So that's where my mother came from. And as we were driving, and he was going to take me to my father's town, I see a sign saying Treblinka. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not to see a concentration camp, but that was the town of Treblinka, right near where my father lived. 